somebody welcome back with cooking with nana today i will teach you guys how to make tom kim this is the way my mom always do it there's a lot of people does their own tom kim so this is the way i do mine so um you can use chicken pork whatever you prefer but i have um um pork billy pork billy in lao we would call simu sam san you see the layer of the fat, um, and I have boiling eggs, um, tom kai leo, and then smash the garlic. I use six and one ginger, and half take um, teaspoon of MSG is an option if you like. You don't have to, and one no a half teaspoon of salt um we just gonna i just introduce the salt um you know if we don't have to put on if it's too salty and then half cup of sugar and one fourth cup of um regular mountain um, golden mountain season soy sauce and one fourth cup of black soy sauce and one tablespoon of fish sauce and then four cup of water and then you know some people like a pork belly but you can use chicken also you don't have if you don't like pork you don't have to use pork you can use any um chicken wings chicken drumstick chicken thighs and it depends how um, big do you want on your meat I didn't add no oil I caramelized my sugar until it's um, dark brown but you don't want to um, burn your sugar if you burn the sugar it's a no-no taste though so it won't taste good so you have to stay here and keep eye on it and keep stirring it slowly And turn your heat down low because you don't want too high on the sugar. See how I um, cur um, caramelize the sugar? I put it on low heat. I didn't add no oil. I just keep my eye on it and keep stirring it. Once it's there, I will add my ginger and garlic. When the gall, um, the garlic and the ginger hits the sugar, oh, the aroma smells of the, um, those two in the sugar smells so good. And then I will add my pork in. And then once you add your pork in, turn your heat to high, high heat. Okay, once I cook this, I will add my MSG, a half teaspoon is the option if you don't want MSG you don't have to and then I will add my Golden Mountain soy sauce that's one fourth cup and then my black soy sauce one fourth cup And then I'm going to add probably a little bit of a, a little bit of salt first because I don't want it to make too salty.
stir it in everything then I will add the water <laughs> my taster they're waiting to taste they're here to wait to taste okay mm -hmm. once I add everything in I will add my fourth cup of water And I will let this cook. I will get the lid and let um steam for. I'm gonna do 30 minutes first, and then I will bring it, let it boil, and then um, wait for 30 minutes. Check it out, check, let it cook, and then I come back and add the eggs and taste the season. How? What do I need to add more and stuff like that? I'm gonna check the. You can um, open, you know how if there's some fat, those things floating up, you can use your spoon to scoop on the side. Okay, I'm going to taste the, okay, I'm going to add my fish sauce. That's one tablespoon and the rest of the sugar, oh, uh, rest of the salt. Sorry. If you want your broth to be a little bit darker, you can add more black soy sauce. Okay. Gonna steam another 30 minutes. Um, you know what? I'm gonna add. That's why you taste it. So it's one tablespoon of fish sauce that I use. So I'm going to use one more tablespoon of fish sauce. If you don't want to use fish sauce, you can use just salt. It's up to you. Okay. Mm. Add the fish. Add a little bit more fish sauce. So I'm gonna cover it and lower my heat down to medium and let it steam for 30 minutes. If you can open the lid up a little bit, get some steam out. So just wait for 30 minutes. Then you know you can taste again. It depends how you want it. Thom came, a lot of people like sweet, it comes out sweet and salty, but it's a pan. A lot of people do different way of um, thom came. This is my mom's way, just a simple, easy way. And I'm going to check on it. I'm going to taste the broth again. Mm, perfect. I just add a little bit more fish sauce. Like total of all, it's gonna be like two tablespoons and one um, tablespoon of salt. Then I'm gonna add my eggs in here. I only have eight eggs left at the house. Mostly we use twelve. It's pin how many people did like eggs. I haven't, I didn't go into the store, grab more eggs. So whatever I have, this is what I use for my eggs. So once, get the broth covers, the eggs. Okay. So my meat is looking cooked. Mm. So now I'm gonna steam it, lower it down on low, too, too, too low, like medium, same thing, medium. And then cover it again and let it cook for another, probably I would say 30 minutes, but you can do 20, but I just like let the eggs 
change the color and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do um, 20 minutes and then everything should be done because the meat is done and and my season is fine. So like I said, once you taste the season, if you like it, you can add more fish sauce, more salt. If you want dark, your um, broth to be a little bit more um, darker, add more black soy sauce. But this is what I have and I'm, you know, I'm just going to wait and I will show you the last final step of how we eat um, bon cake. So I let it um, steamer for like 20 minutes. So I'm, I'm going to turn it off. Okay. That's how my thumb cane is like. Thumb cane coin is all up in Babsy. So I'm gonna taste the broth. Like I said, just, you know, you can taste it and see how you like it. Mm, I'm happy with it. Like, and then I am gonna serve. Let's move this first. And you can eat it. You can serve um, in a small bowl by itself. Or you can put it on your rice like this. And then you can use the broth. Same thing as this one. It's a pan if you like a lot of broth and less broth. Got to put eggs on Talina's. Okay. And, and then you can use, um, this is um, just a fish sauce with um, fresh chili, garlic, sugar, and lime, and fish sauce. And then, Nina, you want to come in? Try it. So this is how my thumb came turn out. This is, you know, mostly we do this at home. We don't put too much ingredients in and something simple and easy. Like I said, a lot of people like to use a Chinese five spice thing, but I don't really use it on my thumb came because my kid doesn't like the, the smell of the cinnamons, the the anchors or whatever, um, all these ingredients, they is too strong for them. They're just like simple and easy the way how my mom does it. So this is the way we do a thom kim at home, where I learned from my mom. Here, Talina. Kobe, do you want to taste? Right. Here's my taster. So they can um, dip the sauce in the rice. It's up to them if they want the sauce. But they can eat. If they want more juice, the broth of thom kim, they can, you know. But it's up to them, whatever they prefer. How is it? Hot. <laughs> well, you're supposed to blow on it. How is it, Talina? Yummy. Okay. So, I mostly like to have some chili on my rice. Like this. Mm. This is how my dome came in like. So, what do you guys think? Good. Good. <laughs> like this. You can put it up in the refrigerator and warm it up the next day and stuff. But this is how my dome came turn out. Um, you, like I say, you can use chicken, and some people can do vegetarian, like use tofu, um, vegetables and stuff. Same um, um, season, instead of fish sauce, you can use salt, soy sauce, and black soy sauce as your vegetarian kind. But I use pork, 
like I said, if you don't eat pork, you can use um, chicken or do a vegetarian. But this is what my tom kim is like. So tom kim koi man si ok ben bap si. So like I said, hop jai lai lai. Um, ma bung an video koi. And this is how we do our tom kim at home. If you like to try, go ahead. Um, and please um, let us know on Cooking with Nana on Facebook. And thank you so much for watching my video. Tana, how joke am I? Lock on.